In this video, I am going to show you how to create progress circle charts in Excel. Here is a table showing the completion percentage of three different projects, project A, project B and project C. We would like to display the completion percentage in a visually pleasing manner. To do this, we can use a progress circle chart. Before we start creating the progress circle chart, we need to first calculate the remaining percentage of a project. So let's just enter a new heading called remaining percentage and that will be a formula which is equal to 1 minus the cell P4 for project A, which basically is 100% minus 35%. So I'm just going to copy this formula to the below two cells and let me just copy the same format to this column. Now we've calculated the remaining percentages for the three different projects. A simple progress chart can be created very quickly in Excel. All we need to do is to select the completion percentage and remaining percentage of a project and go to the insert menu and under the pie chart we select the donut option and then in the chart design we can select one which shows the percentage but to create a visually good looking progress chart we need to do some prep work so let me first delete this chart and here in column a from cell 1 i'm going to enter the value 1 20 times so you can just select it and just go all the way over to 20 basically we've created 20 once now let's select the data and then insert again under the pie chart menu a donut chart this chart is going to be the base of our progress circle chart so first let me just clean this chart a bit notice one thing if i hide this column a the data disappears because by default a chart will not display hidden values so let me just undo this and go to your chart right click on it and select the option called select data in the bottom left of the menu you have hidden and empty cells option click it and check this box saying show data in hidden rows and columns and say okay great so now if we hide this column we still get the chart displayed let's do some more prep work on this chart so double click on the chart click on the ring and now in the fill and line option instead of an automatic fill let's go with a solid fill let's select blue yeah so now this forms the base of our chart which has 20 divisions Basically, each division will now represent 5%. So let's click on that ring again and reduce the donut hole size to 60%. Great. Okay. So let's reduce the chart size to a square almost. Okay. And now with the chart clicked, Go to the property section and select don't move or size with cell. So this base we are going to use for project A. So let's copy and paste the same thing over for project B and C. So all you need to do is copy, come outside and paste. Similarly, let me paste another one. And let's just change the color of the second chart to purple. And the third chart let's just change the color to orange good now we've created the three different bases for our three projects let's go to the chart title and select the chart title and go to the formula bar and press equal to select the cell c4 so the title Similarly, for second chart, click on the chart title, go to the formula bar, 
select C5. Similarly, for the third one, select C6. Okay. Now, the base is ready. And let's create the progress circle chart for project A now. So, go to this chart, right click and select data. So, you get our series one, which is basically the 20 portions, which is the base. And now, we are going to add another series with the series name going to be our cell C4, which is project A. And the series value, we are going to select D4 to E4. Say, okay, our chart is almost ready now. So, you can see that we are representing the project A's completion percentage 35% and the remaining percentage on this chart. Now, we need to right click on the outer ring and go to change series chart type. There, you will get a menu and an option where you can select of this which series you want to be represented on a secondary axis. We need to do this so that the outer ring can overlap the inner ring. As soon as we do this, the project A completion and remaining percentage overlap the section donut. There, we are almost done. So now click on the ring and click again so that you select only the blue portion and double click here and go to the fill option and select no fill. Similarly, now let's select the orange portion and in the color section, let's select white and transparency, let's put it at 30%. Let's now represent the completion percentage with a text box. So, click on the chart, go to insert and in the text, let's select a text box. Let's put it in here and go to the formula bar equal to cell D4. So, let me just align it a bit. Let's increase the size to 18 and let's give the font the same blue color. Let's change the font of our title to also to the same color. So, now if you change this project A completion percentage to let's say 45%, you see that the chart has updated. Similarly, let's do for project B. So, click on the chart, right click, select data, add a series where the series name is going to be our cell C5 and the values are going to be from D4 to E5. So, we have created the ring. Now, we need to overlap this ring over our section donor. So, right click on this outer ring, select the option change series chart type and select secondary axis. Say OK. Now, you need to click on the ring, click again to ensure that you are selected only the blue portion, double click, use no fill and now click on the smaller orange portion in this case and change the color to white and transparency to 30%. And now with the chart selected, insert a text box and in the formula connect it to cell D5. Let's just format it. Let's do it once more for project C. Select this chart, right click, select data, add. Our series name is cell C6 and the series value is D6 to E6. Say OK. OK. Right click on the outer ring, change series chart type, select secondary axis. Click on the blue section, click again and then change the color to no fill. Similarly, in the smaller block orange portion, we are going to select white with transparency 30%. And let's just hide 
the column E. There, our progress circle charts are ready. So now, as we change the percentages, you can see that the project A has updated in the both the progress circle and the displayed text. Similarly, if I change the project B, the project B gets updated and project C, the third chart gets updated. These progress circle charts can be really useful when you create dashboards. I hope that this tutorial is of use to you. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. Till next time, ciao.